because the purpose of my talk is that both of them are prolific phaco surgeons so don't go with the impression that this multifocal or autofocus or whatever multifocal and autofocus lenses are meant only for phaco surgery it is not like that you can use it in SISS provided you learn whatever Dr. Arthi has shown. If you are able to manage your new, uh, astigmatism well with the SISS incisions, you can put multifocal autofocus lenses with more confidence because now you know what is going to be your astigmatism. So all cases I do SICS and I am a small surgeon doing very few cases. So I will show you the result of my 23 implants which I have put after Diwali, all these autofocus lenses which are non serrated. So most of the patients have got 6-9 or 6-6 unaided vision. There was one patient with, uh, six patients with 6-12 vision unaided. The near vision is excellent in all the cases. Only one patient had uh, little less near vision, uh, one, uh, one patient N9 and N12. Our chart, our optometrist measure only up to N6. Most of these patients must be going to N5, N4, we don't know. And this N12 patient was having ARMD. So near visually generally ex, uh, ex, uh, excellent and this lens is a forgiving type of lens. Even if you land up with some refractive error, the end result is very good. As Dr. Kakade said, there is no disport of CS, nothing. So you can happily implant this. I'm not going to show this video because uh, implanting through a injector might be a little difficult, for a, but for an SICS surgeon, just fold it little with the uh, forceps and implant. So, no, I think I don't know how much time is there. Uh, that's why. Anyway, uh, so and I feel that mostly the multinationals will start copying this design in future. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's very fine. Very fine. Yes, sir. Yeah. So may they may they make very slight variation and copy. I don't know.